You guys love the one pound versus 100 pound video so much and you demanded that I do a one pound versus a thousand pound video, but that video has now already been taken. So we're just gonna do the 1,000 pound video today. Welcome to Away Days. So Whopper is not enough seating. Do you think this was worth it if you'd have spent a thousand pounds on it? Yesterday we're here at Anfield to see Liverpool. <laughs> Take on my team, Leeds United. In a game that is massively important for both sides. It could be the last game Jesse Marsh manages for Leeds and obviously Liverpool need to win to get their season back on full track. So important that it's been moved to 7.45 on a Saturday. What do you mean by that? We're doing Liverpool's Premier Club tickets, which work out of £499 per person. I'm taking me and Jody, and it's a pricey one, but that's been made possible thanks to this season's sponsor, Omada. Gavel over we die. Yes, a huge thanks to Omada for sponsoring not only this video, but every video of away days this season. It is the perfect companion if you wanted to predict football matches without risking any money. In my opinion, it's the perfect anti-gambling alternative if you wanted to predict football matches. The only thing that is on the line is your pride instead of your money. You're never going to put yourself in financial harm with Omada and you actually have a chance of winning a prize every week in the away day squad. All you have to do to have a chance of winning is join the Omada squad linked at the top of the description. If you get in the away day squad, the weekly win it each time, win a prize, and because we're doing a very special VIP video this week, the winner of the Armada squad for this week wins a £50 Amazon voucher. So get involved in the squad at the top of the description, and if you're watching this in the future, we're doing a prize every week of the 22-23 season, so don't worry, you haven't missed out. A massive thanks to Armada for making this experience and every experience we've had on away days so far this season possible. Let's have a look around Anfield and get in there, and don't die. <laughs> VIP, 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 500 pound ticket, VIP, VIP, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> With our ticket, the, the expensive ticket, you get access to the lounge three hours before kickoff. So it's like three hours and a half to kickoff. So we're now going to get round to our lounge. I also just want to be ridiculously clear before we get into this because I know some people already have commented this. This is the last like VIP video we're doing this season. I know the last three or four videos have kind of been a bit VIP based. I'm only doing this one because the last one went down so well. So we're doing this, but we're not going to do any more for the rest of the season. Right, let's get inside. I am very excited to to watch Leeds win. So with your ticket you get a special entrance here at the Kenny, Kenny Dalglish main stand. We just go through there and then we're right into the lounge straight away. There's about 10 minutes that we can get in but it is, it is one of the most iconic grounds in the world. Rains. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are oh, yeah. you? Tell that to your face. <laughs> but, but excited. Yeah? But I think you're going to be unhappy by the end of the evening. That's being a Leeds fan though, um, there's not much happiness ever. Um, as you can see from the montage, there's lots of food options. We've gone for cold food first and there's hot food as well. I think the food is unlimited, so you can take whatever you want. I've got a San Miguel and a lemonade, drinks aren't included, so that came to seven pounds, but reasonably priced at least. Um, I've gone for cheese, ham and crackers to start. I'm out of my depth. There's Jody's. I'll be honest, right, this is very lovely. Do you feel like you're at the football? No. This is probably more enjoyable for you. <laughs> Look at that slice of cheddar. It's a whopper. Cheers to um, acting like we have money for a couple of hours. Let me go back to our sorry lives. 
We censor that. <laughs> like you can't censor that. The whole thing is. is to... Just before we get our hot food, one thing I will say, and I think I'm not the person for it, but it doesn't feel like a football match for me. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like I'm never gonna. I want to be in the stands. I want to. It's lovely. She's eating her cheese, but is it football? And I get we have unlimited food. But for the same price, I could just buy 50 pucker pies if I wanted them, surely. It's lovely though. It's mainly for tourists, which I guess... Am I the baddie? We've got Kev the compare on, on the entertainment. And jody has got beef stroganoff. And I've got a gammon roll. A gammon roll with some tomato relish. So let's give it a try. The food has been very, very good. You would expect it to be, but that doesn't mean it could be bad. The food was good. What have you thought about yours? Yeah, good. What, what is this? Chris. It's Chris. Credit Roast Jew, the dessert also looks very, very good. This looks like the highlight of it all so far, but we're going to eat this. We're going to take a view of our seat, and then there's not really much we can do for two hours before kickoff, but these look nice. check out our padded seat and it is very comfortable um the view obviously it's an incredible stadium but so far what have you made of this experience compared to a normal football ticket i don't like it why what's your reasoning i don't feel like i'm at football i feel like i'm at a really posh birthday party where you shouldn't touch anything and you don't know anyone so you're like the plus 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 one yeah you're like friend of a friend of a friend. we have to invite if we're gonna invite yeah. him we need to invite him um, but and you the, just like sat there like. But I don't think I don't. We need to say I don't think this is marketed of people like us. No. And I don't think what Liverpool have put on is really good, and it's great for people that, that you know don't go to football all the time. Like I imagine it's an amazing experience. Um, just right now, I've just also found out we can't see the Leeds fans, yeah. which is worrying. But it's, it's it's a fun experience. It's different. It's different. But can we get two thousand likes? That's the real question. Also, once again, a huge thanks to Omada for sponsoring this video. As you can see, a tip for all of you who play Omada every week is you, can not, you don't have to delegate all your coins evenly. For example, as you can see on screen now, I've got one coin on every single game, and then I've gone all in on Leeds to beat Liverpool. So, I did. So, I, I'm, bank, I'm going big and hoping Leeds win, but we'll see. And you, you're also going home. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But yeah, so you don't have to. You don't have to evenly spread your coins. You can do one on all of them, then one go big on the one you want to back. But yeah, once again, check out Omada at the top of the description. Winner this week wins a fifty-pound Amazon voucher. We got up for a little bit to um, just get out of our seat for a bit, and we now there is no seats, and there's loads of people stood up because there's not enough seating. And I think for the retail price of a ticket, that doesn't feel great to me, in my opinion, that there's not enough space to actually... Is this a first world problem? I feel like it is a big first world problem. You can barely see because it's so... Very entitled problem. Yeah. <laughs> also, just following on from what Jodie said, I don't want to moan and I don't want to keep moaning, so just very clear. Like, for the price you pay, there shouldn't be that many people in there. Um, and also, just pay 50 quid for a ticket and go for a meal before the game. And why would you come in three hours early to just sit in a box? You just go to like spoons. Right, right let's let's keep enjoying it. Jody's made a good point about the ticket price. Obviously, we pay 500 quid. I'll be completely transparent. These tickets we got a bit cheaper, but like five, they retail at 4.99 a person. And like you said, the box. It doesn't overlook the pitch. The box you're actually put away with no windows or anything. Yeah, you feel like it, it feels like a function room with like a bar in it. You can't see the pitch, you can't see anything really football related. It, it's just, that's why I feel like I'm at a wedding. And then you come out here and you're like, no. Oh. Yeah, and obviously, like, like I said, the view we get... The view we get here is amazing, but... Um, I, once to, like, I, I can fully appreciate people will love this. Just I think for right now I'd rather do like... 20 quid ticket, not that you're gonna get that at Liverpool either. But anyway, fast forward to when the players are warming up, you see, now. Sorry, the game's about to start and we said we'd stop being negative, but we're now about to kick off and uh, Jodie's like, Jodie's four foot and she's got no leg room at all, so. 
on to the match. What Jody? It's rather quiet in here, isn't it? It's rather quiet in here, isn't it? It's very quiet. We can probably hear me, it's that quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Robertson and Tyler Adams just squared up to each other. Um, it somehow, against all odds, 1 1. So it's half time. Um, I'm not going to comment on the game until full time, but like you get 15 minutes to go to the bar and lounge to get like teas and coffees and some more food. But by the time we get to the lounge, the 15 minutes is going to have gone. Like this is that doesn't really seem like a perk to me. Um, but we'll see when we eventually get there in 10 minutes. So it's half time. We came down to the bar, and you can get free teas and coffees, but the queue is so long for it that we there's a witch in the back. Um, that it would be we're not going to have time to get the second half. We'll talk about this, but we wanted to just come down and show the lounge again. But it's it's there's a lot of people in here. I think that is. Um, I don't know. Um, the game's been good. It's been fun. We'll, we'll talk more about the game at full time. But the whole video is like, is this experience something we would do again? Half time courts are no. Hot chocolates? Now it's worth it. So you can pay for drinks? I right. didn't get to eat the cake. It was supposed to be thought there'd be cake. We'll see you. Sounds like a bingo class. We'll see you at full time. Or in second half. But so far the experience I would say it's good for what it is, but it's just not for me. You know what I mean? So I agree. Back to the match, I'll try and show more at uh, 1 1. Literally just made the start of the second half. She got a right chocolate. I'm out of breath. It does need to be said, you do get a very good view from this seat. I imagine if you just sat opposite us, is that in a box? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to stop talking. Yeah, someone keeps farting, and we think it might be this man, but we don't want to be, we can't be sure. Someone is farting. I thought for the price, there'd be like Airwick air fresheners. It would show you atmosphere, I don't know, but there's not, there's not much in terms of atmosphere. I'm not sure what's going on. It's eight to go, it's 1-1, one, one, and people are leaving. Why are 
so many people leaving. I mean, it is, it is a late kickoff, but look. Where are you can say you're straight going out. Jump into there. 
Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.